everyone welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to calculate the area of forest loss and forest gain analysis using earth engine so in this specific video we're going to calculate the area area of forest loss and forest gain using earth engine so to calculate the area of forest loss and forest gain first we have to define our country's boundary layer so to define our country's boundary layer so we have to define a variable called countries equals to double a dot feature collection united states of department of states large scale international boundary simple 2017 so this specific code will insert our country's boundary layer into earth engine so next we have to uh, filter with the specific country name because we're going to calculate the area of forest loss and forest gain for uh, any countries so for example i will calculate the area for thailand so to calculate the area of forest loss and forest gain for thailand I have defined a variable called thailand equals to countries dot filter double e dot filter dot eq country now and output the layer name as thailand so next we have to uh, we have to import our trick our data into earth engine so to calculate the area of loss and gain so to import our uh, trick our data into earth engine we have to define a variable called trick our 2014 equals to double e dot image uh, umd Hansen. So this is a specific data we're going to insert into Earth Engine to calculate the area of loss and gain. So now to calculate our uh, area of loss and gain, so first we have to define a variable called loss. So we have defined a variable called loss equals to tree cover 2014. So this specific code will represent the specific variable called that is our Hansen data. So dot select loss. So here the law specifically selects the loss data from our Hansen data. So similarly to uh, calculate the gain, we have to define a variable called gain equals to tree cover 2014 dot select gain. So this specifically select the gain data from Hansen data. So to next we have to calculate our area of uh, loss and gain of our forest. So to do that, we have to define a variable called area loss equals to loss dot multiply the loss here represents this per specific variable where we are uh, selecting our loss data so loss into loss multiplying double e dot image pixel area so each of this loss represents a pixel so we are multiplying our loss data with our pixel to calculate our area so we are using we are accessing our loss from loss data from our hansen and multiplying with image pixel so number of pixels of loss so in that way we can able to calculate of uh, area of loss so similarly to calculate the area of gain we defined a variable called area gain equals to gain dot multiply doubly dot image pixel area so here the gain represents to access this uh, hansen data of gain data the amount of gain of forest or uh, tree cover so dot we are multiplying with the image pixel area so number of gain represented in the pixel so we are multiplying our pixel area so to calculate our area of gain so now to calculate the area of loss of pixel in our study area that is thailand we have to define a variable called uh, loss stat so to calculate the area of loss in uh, loss of forest area we have to define a variable called loss stat equals to area loss so area loss here represents this particular variable so where we have calculated the area of our losses that is loss of tree cover so this specific function calculates the area of that loss so we are using a area uh, area loss dot reduce region so the beauty of reduce region is that it combines all the pixel of that uh, particular study region so to calculate our uh, area loss so we defined a variable called loss stack equals to area loss so we are referring to this uh, variable called area loss so dot reduce region the function of our reduce region is, is it combines all the pixel of this study region so that's why we are using reduce region it combines all the pixel of this of that study region so next we are define a reducer so double e dot reducer function dot sum far double e dot reducer dot sum function so uh, the sum calculates the total uh, area of this uh, of this region that is loss the area loss region it calculates total uh, 
area. So the function of the sum is calculates the total area. So the beauty of this function is that it calculates the total area of our uh, area loss, the forest loss. It calculates that, that is a tree cover loss. So it sum uh, sum uh, is a function that calculates the total. So here we calculated our total area using this specific function. So here we are summarizing our total area using our sum function. So next we have to specify the geometry of our study region. So we are using our study region as Thailin. So we have to to calculate area and also we are using the study region Thailin. We have to specify our geometry. So we have to specify our geometry of our study area. So for that we defined geometry Thailin that is our study area. So dot geometry function. So next we have to uh, define our spatial resolution. So we defined as a scale equals to 30 meters. So the scale that is our scale refers to the spatial resolution of our data. So Hansen data is basically is a byproduct of Landsat uh, Landsat image. So so it is a byproduct of a Landsat image. So it has a spatial resolution of around 30 meters. So 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 for that I have defined scale equals to 30. 30 refers to spatial resolution. So next we have to define our max pixel. So we have to uh, define a max pixel because this is the Landsat A Landsat uh, data. So it contains a huge amount of data. So in order to perform our analysis safely, so we have to specify a limit for our pixels. So for that we have this uh, limit. We have to specify a limit of our pixels around one uh, to the power of eleven. So max pixel equals to it is around ten power eleven. So that is one into ten power eleven. So this specific function will uh, calculate our total area of loss. That is total area of our tree cover loss in Thailand. So to uh, next is to visualize our area of loss of for forest cover in Thailand. We have to uh, to visualize it. We have to define print area of loss in uh, area loss in Thailand. So loss stat. So we are referring our this particular variable loss stat. So that calculates our area of loss. So it gives us uh, so loss that refers to our area of loss and it is referred in units in square meters. So next, next we have to calculate the area of gain in uh, gain of pixel in Thailand. So to calculate the area of gain, we have to define a variable called gain stat equals to area gain. So area gain refers to this. So area gain refers to this variable area gain. So where we calculate the total area of our loss, loss uh, that is from the loss data, that is area of loss. So we are referring to that variable dot reduce region. So reduce region basically combines all that uh, pixels together. So next we define reducer equals to double e dot reducer dot sum. So basically what it does is summarizes the total area of all the gain pixels. So next we have to define our geometry for our study area that is Thailand. So for that we define Thailand dot geometry function. So scale here refers to spatial resolution that is 30 meters. So basically our Hansen data is a Hansen data. It is a byproduct of Landsat. So it has a spatial resolution of around 30 meters. And to perform our analysis more safely, that is the Landsat has a huge, uh, it has a huge number of uh, pixels so for that we have to specify the limit to perform our analysis more safely so for that we defined max pixel uh, 1 is to e power that is 1 into 10 power 11 so 1 exponential to the power of 11 so to next we have to uh, visualize our area of gain in Thailand that is area of gain of forest cover in Thailand so for that we define print area gain in Thailand and we are referring to our gain stat that is this variable where it calculates the total area of gain so in square in square meters so at last let us display our data to display our data we have to uh, define map dot center object referring to our thailand study area with a zoom level of 5 and last map dot add layer referring to our double dot image that is our hansen data so dot paint Thailand. So dot paint Thailand here refers to 
our study area with the boundary uh, boundary size so there is this boundary size and with a color palette of black so output our study area as thylut so now we have already calculated the area of the here now let me uh, reset this now again let me run this so now it is being loaded here now let me reset let me run again so it is the area lost in Thailand that is represented here that is that is in square meters and similarly the area gained in Thailand that is represented in square meters so from here you can able to clearly understand that the area of loss that is area of forest cover loss in Thailand is very high compared to the area of gain in forest cover in Thailand so that is 13 into uh, 13 into 10 power so that is we have 13 into 10 power uh, 9 square meters so that is area of lost in Thailand similarly that is area of forest cover loss in Thailand so area of gain in Thailand so we have 49 into 10 power 8 square meters that is a total area of gain total area of forest cover gain in Thailand let me show you the boundary so this is our Thailand that is our study area So in this video, I have shown you how to calculate the area of forest loss and forest gain analysis for any country of your choice. So I have in this specific video, I have selected Thailand as my study area and we have calculated the area of forest cover lost in square meters and area of forest cover gain in Thailand in square meters. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.